Hello guys, welcome to a brand new vlog. We are in the outdoors, finally. The, there's been a slight reduction in ease on the lockdown, which means that we can now eat outdoors. So, hello husband. We've got sunshine, we've had salads. This is just so nice. Like, we took such a big breath of air in when we came and sat down, didn't we? Just like, we're getting there. We are getting back to normality. I can finally take this off now. So, we're just having such a lovely afternoon. Beetroot, falafel, tomatoes, olives, ricotta, hummus, I think, artichokes, and flatbread. I've got a virgin mojito. And we have the sunshine. Let me put you here. That's better. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday morning. Sorry, I didn't manage to vlog too much yesterday because we were literally out for our lunch. I was just doing work the rest of the day, so there's nothing else really to vlog. So sorry, it's all very kind of disjointed so far. However, today is Tuesday and I am going getting my nails done. And today, usually I go to dry by, as you know, if you're in London or if you can get to London, dry by is the dream. I've been going there for years. However, over the quarantine, I completely fell in love with a nail technician that lives really quite close by. It's not the biggest journey away, but it's certainly a little bit quicker for me to get to than going all the way into London. So I thought, let's go for a bit of a change. And I'm gonna go to this lovely lady. She's called The Hot Blend on Instagram. She's blown up recently because her nails are exceptional. Like the nail art is unbelievable. It's so Pinterestable. And that's where I found her. I was looking for nail pictures on Pinterest, found her, and then was like, oh my gosh, she actually lives like somewhat near to me. So I'm going to go and get my nails done. So currently they look a shambles. The majority are broken and short. One or two are a little tiny bit longer that haven't broken. So I'm just gonna see what she can do with this mess. I've just worn a really comfy jumper. My faux leather trousers are just a really comfortable jumper just so I can go and sit, get my nails done, then come back and start doing some work. So that's the plan. We have some really lovely weather starting to happen right now. I don't know if you can see the lovely blue skies appearing. Little baby bird somewhere, I can hear him. Sure. Oh, there he is! What's he doing when he's hiding? There he is. Darling, I couldn't see you then. What are you eating? I feel like he's got really long recently. Alex picked these little flowers from the garden for me yesterday and then put them in this jar. So cute of him. Wonderful light coming through in the kitchen. I just absolutely love this space. In the spring and the summer when the light comes through here, it is divine. Right, I've got to get going, so I will see you. I'm not going to take my camera because I don't want to um, scare this girl with the camera straight away. But I'll probably try and film some things on my phone if I can. And I'm back. The only thing that's changed is that I don't have as much makeup in this area after my mask wearing and I have unbelievable nails. So I went for, I think these are the nails that I first saw on Pinterest when I found Alex from the Hot Blend. Look at those. I never thought my short nails could look so pretty. So they're like little butterflies. And she's used gel bottle, which I've never, to be honest, never even heard of before I found her. And they are unbelievable. I'm absolutely in love with them. These are quite hard now, so they'll just keep growing without breaking. And then within a few weeks, hopefully they'll be lovely and long and I can keep getting them shaped and shaped and shaped without extending them because to extend them would have taken hours longer. So these took a couple of hours because my nails needed some good work in terms of the cuticles and getting them looking really perfect. So they look amazing now, I'm so happy. The weather today is divine. I have packages everywhere that I've been opening. One thing arrived though. Alana's Mac collection. So Alana, I've mentioned Alana so much recently. So, like Alana did her morning routine and inspired mine. We both seemed to put out a white shirt video on the exact same day, which was bizarre, but great minds think alike, obviously. And Alana has just created a collaboration, well, she's done a collaboration with Mac, and this is her set of goodies. She's been able to put together like a, um, her kind of favorites collection into this one set. So in here we've got the the Fix Plus in coconut. That's an amazing setting spray. I've not used it for years. There is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish Powder. Wow, that looks glowy. 
we have the lip gloss in see-through. Again, never used that, that sounds great. There is the lip pencil in strip down. I have never had this, thank you Alana. I know everyone swears by this lip liner, so I'm excited for that. And then strobe cream is an absolute, it's just a winner. It's a serious winner if you want like a gorgeous glowy primer. Um, and that's the full kit, so congratulations to Alana, this is amazing. Strip down looks like my kind of color. I really wanna try this out. This is a very tan brown tone. It's almost like a super milk chocolate kind of color. I like that. Okay, let me just get the lip gloss too. It's a really bizarre place to try on makeup, but still. Okay, the lip gloss in see-through. Ooh, it's like a really milky, like a really milky vanilla -y gloss. I don't wear too many kind of glass or super shiny products like this very often, but it looks really nice actually together. It's a really gorgeous combo. This is very Alana's lips. Beautiful. So congratulations, Alana. I've also just opened up this insane box of goodies from Tom Ford, who've just launched their new Soleil Brulant fragrance. This is amazing. It's just a big block of gold. It's part of their like summery golden bronzy collection, which they always just do so perfectly. It's got a really deep, more masculine undertone. Really, what is that smell? Deep, musky, manly kind of smell to this. Uh, almost a bit, I want to say a little bit almost like bitter, almost. Super, super lovely. That would be gorgeous on holiday. But they've also sent me their bronzer brush. Thank you so much to the Tom Ford team. This is amazing. Their mascara. And they've also brought out, I can't get this. I'm trying not to ruin my nails. Oh, wow. So this is beautiful pot of deep bronze on top of, a bit below is a black. So obviously that's gonna pop beautifully. Also got golden peach. I'm pretty sure I've already got golden peach. And it's like one of those like staples. I've got this and it is just amazing. What's so good about these is that you can just kind of tap these onto your lid with a finger and it's so pigmented. And then you use this top section here as like a topper to kind of pat over top. They are amazing. I've had this for years. It is just fantastic. Wonderful. Thank you so much to the Tom Ford team. However, outside we've just had a delivery. We've had a delivery of some new garden furniture. Alex is very kindly putting together here for me. Gorgeous little table. I really love the way this looks. This wood, super lovely light grey. And it comes with a bench and then two chairs. So Alex is making this look fabulous. Yeah, this is gonna look so lovely. What I really liked the most was these slats. I don't know what it was about it, but I just really like these slats style. I was looking at so many different types of garden furniture and a lot of it is rattan and that's what I had before which I just recently sold and I'm going for a bit more of a wood feel now in the garden so I really loved the kind of wooden slats look and I just thought this would just look really lovely and chic so yeah I'm super super happy with this so far. Thank you husband for doing this up. <sighs> Hi guys. Oh loud. I can only apologize for my lack of fluidity in this vlog so far, but I promise from here on out, I'm gonna get my act together. Um, I didn't vlog last week, and sometimes when I just take even one week off vlogging, I lose my mojo. <laughs> so, today is a different day, a very different day today, because we're actually going into London. Holy guacamole. What are the chances? So we're going into London to get our hair done by Larry. And we're also gonna go over to L'Atelier Aesthetics for, well, I need some products, some new skin products. And, ow! Oh God, my eye has a really sore dry spot here. That's really sore. Hey darling, I've got Bo up here with me because Alex is doing a workout, so. I didn't wanna just leave him downstairs. So he's just chilling in his little bed, aren't you darling? It's a good boy. I am off out, to, we are off out today. So we're going to Larry's, we're going to L'Atelier Aesthetics. We're also meeting my friend Charlotte for a brunch lunch. Did you want to sit up here? There you go. Do you want to sit there while mummy does the makeup? Okay then, all right. Yes, we're gonna go for a brunch lunch. 
at Dalesford in Notting Hill before I go to Larry's. I'm going to put on some of my um, Illumier um, SPF 40 versatile tint because I've been wearing, I mean I wear my retina all the time so I always need you some cream. Always wear some cream and not just on the high points of your face like Gwynny tells you to do. I'm going to put my SPF here, here and a little bit. No, come on. Gosh, just ridiculous. So, how much makeup do I want to wear today, darling? Do you know? Do you know? Oh, what do I want to wear? I ask you. I'll wear a little bit of this. A little bit of the Charlotte Flawless Filter. Why not? Everyone likes to look flawless, don't they, darling? You look flawless all the time. Don't you, my little blonde pooch? You just seem to get more attractive as you get older, don't you, darling? We're taking, <laughs> we're taking Bo in with us today. I'm going to London for the first time. Oh, I must admit, I'm a little bit apprehensive just because of all the recent dog nappings that have been going on. Dog napping makes it sound really, um, makes it sound really quite silly and like a tiny little petty crime when actually it's a really, really serious thing in England at the moment because dogs, I don't know if this is the same in America or anywhere else right now, but because of quarantine, a lot of people have brought dogs into their houses for the first time, like us. Uh, like people who've always wanted dogs and you know never had the opportunity to because you either worked away from home too much or didn't work from home and uh, yeah so they are extremely expensive right now to buy a dog which is why they are now being ow my eye which is why a lot of dogs are being kidnapped um, and then sold on which is absolutely horrendous I mean I was saying this the other day on my stories but I know this is coming from someone who doesn't have a child, but to a lot of people, their dog is like the, their child. Most people raise a dog from eight weeks old, unless obviously you get a rescue. And so it becomes part of the family. Like me and Alex are literally obsessed, obsessed with our baby. Like I feel like, like I almost feel like I birthed him. I, I'm sure, I'm sure you all kind of get me when I say this, but he feels like my little baby dog. And so the idea, oh, I don't even want to think, I wasn't bear thinking about it, but anyway, so I digress. Um, yeah, so I'm a little bit apprehensive and also he's never had this test before of being out and about near a lot of people, potentially other dogs. So this could go drastically wrong. We're also getting the train as well, so that's another test. So I'm just hoping he's really chilled out. Larry said I can bring him into the salon, so, because Larry's got... A couple of sausage dogs. A makeup for the day. Absolutely in love with this shirt. This is from Chloe Lloyd's new collection with Pretty Lavish. And it's a really gorgeous boxy shaped linen shirt in a gorgeous natural feel. Uh, with almost like a, a marl kind of textured weave going through it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Sorry, on my lips, before I forget, I've got the Bare Minerals Gen Nude On Point liner on. And then I just put on the Code 8 at the bar. No, AM to PM at the bar. On my lips. And I also put on the Code 8 concealer there as well. I will likely take with me today the NARS. I'll probably take a pot of the NARS with me just for any top ups. Um, and this new Clay de Peau sponge that brought out is really fantastic, by the way. They've just launched it and it's really brilliant. I'm just setting that down with the by Terry. Apricot Glow Powder, which I just don't think you can get anymore, which is really annoying, but it's just so good. God, it feels like so much has kind of been going on the past few days since I last saw you. Yeah, we got our garden furniture. I'll show you that in a minute because I didn't show you that last night. I needed to show you last night. I have tanned. I've put on my Saint-Tropez, feeling a lot more brightened up. Got my beautiful nails. Loving them. Absolutely loving them. Oh my gosh, these are fantastic, by the way. These new Vive eye pencils. I am absolutely in love with them. This this shade, Camel. I mean, you've seen me before using the Bobbi Brown pencil just like this, and I love it. I'll be honest, like, if I was to ever make makeup products, this is one of the kind of products I'd make because it's the kind of thing I wear every day, and I love it. It's like a the perfect brown tan toned pencil and you can just rub it over and then use your fingers or a brush to disperse it out and blend it out and it's just so beautiful. I think there's six different pencils in the range and they're so good. We're also getting a treatment done 
at L'Atelier, which I think a lot of you might be quite interested in. So I'll bring you along and show you that as well. But I can show you, I don't know if I've ever shown you in the vlogs what L'Atelier looks like. And I mean, I'm such a, um, I'm always going on about how much I adore Emma and Duncan at L'Atelier Aesthetics. They're like, in effect, they're like my dermatologists, I guess. They do my face peels, get all my products from them. They zap any of my like broken veins in my face and all sorts. So I'd like to bring you along and show you L'Atelier as well. I just love this kind of eye look. I've created that base with Camel. And then now I'm going to use the Codate pencil in Mocha. It's soft, but it's not too soft. Um, and what I like to do is I like to start drawing out a bit of a line to the very out corner here, really close to the lash line, like this. And then I just use like a little detailer brush to blend that into a little eyeline. So that smoked out eyeline is what I'm about. It's really like smoky and not much thought to it, it's my favourite. Like that, so it just looks really kind of smoked out and quite effortless really. Transformation. Okay, I'm ready to head out now to our appointments in London and I've gone for, I'm going for a very utilitarian look today. I've got this gorgeous shirt on with my linen blazer over top. Hopefully I'll be warm enough. I've got my black leggings on with this, just so it's really nice slim silhouette. Then my beige boots to kind of go with the beige vibe. Um, a big gold chunky chain. I've got loads of my Edge of Ember pieces on. My beautiful hoops. These are like my everyday. I'm wearing the Orion ring. Again, it's just like an everyday staple for me. And my little A ring. And then I'm wearing some gold on this side. And then I'm going for my bigger Fendi bag because we're obviously taking Bo and I'm going to need to take his water bottle and, God, what else? Treats, anything else he might need, plus my things. So I thought I'll just take a bigger bag for that. So I've actually just taken this strap off of my Todd's bag and the colors work really, really well. So I'm using this as a strap so I can get it over my shoulder for the day so I'm not carrying it in my hand. I've got this little one with me. You've been helping me with my reel, haven't you, darling? I think you can tell I'm going out, so it's getting sad, but you're coming too, mister. Better get excited. So, so exciting for tiny little pups. <laughs> We've made it to Delford. It's so nice to be out and about in the sunshine. We are all sharpish. <laughs> We're all sat. Where's little Bo gone? Bo was getting a bit Calming upset. Down. He was a bit upset about a pigeon, so he's back in his bed. It's on time out. <laughs> This feels so old school, actually showing you what we're eating, but this is life now, we can get out and about in the sun! Look at this sunshine! Westbourne Grove in Notting Hill at Dalesford. I'm very, very happy to be here. <laughs> Look who we just bumped into! <laughs> Amelia and Bo meet for the first time. Hello, so I thought I was gonna meet you for ages. It was so sweet, and you're so sweet. Isn't he so soft? Oh, sweet little outfit. Look at you know. How excited you forget to get your hair done? Oh my god, I'm so excited. We've had so many like treats today. We've had Bodyism. We've had Dalesford, and now we have Amelia. And this is amazing. Back at Larry's Inn in Notting Hill, we've got, we've got Bo down here, he's the talk of the town. <laughs> Cannot believe we just bumped into Amelia. What are the actual chances of that happening? Crazy. But anyway, we've got ourselves bodies and shakes, I'm all set up. We're also going to be using the new Red Chem, the Acid in Moisture and Concentrate range they just brought out. I'm gonna be using that because it's just gonna really help like seal the hair and just give it loads of nourishment and, and protection. Um, like extreme protection and nourishment, so that'll be amazing. So yeah, can't wait to show you. This is me right now. Yeah, so I've got all my foils on, and I'm just going to look at the zone, get all these top bits nicely blonde again. We've got a baby on my knee. Very interested in everybody else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh. 
put stuff on and what's around. So we've just put through the red can acidic concentrate and just kind of rubbed it through. We build the protein in the hair and then nourish and hydrate it. So my hair should be super shiny and wonderful after this. I'm all finished. Look how amazing this colour is. I feel like a new woman. Honestly, look at that colour. I feel like this is the best colour I've had in a while. Like it's really brightened up. And then Larry just put it and blow dry it. Look at how dark it actually went. Look at you. No, it's all gone. I like the good hair cutter. <laughs> you keep saying it, I don't think it's going to stick. I like it. I'm going to make it with it. Okay, last stop of the day. We're at um, we're at L'Atelier Aesthetics. As you know, this is this is my favourite place for all my treatments and pampering. Alex is here also because Alex is going to get under eye filler. Because tell everyone why. Okay, so when I was I must have been about twenty three maybe. I had a great idea of going on a black run, and if anybody doesn't know what a black run is, a black run is basically a really professional sorry on a bike on a mountain bike a black run and i'd never been on a mountain bike before and i was like going with some friends who were very good and i was like yeah i'll join you um it was probably the most terrifying thing i've ever done in my life and i was basically on i don't even know what they call like these like wooden Platforms. things and there was like a burn a burn i think they're called where it basically like goes up like that and anyway i went flying around this corner and then it just went to like a kicker ramp and I didn't even see it because I was concentrating so much going around this corner, I was going so fast. And anyway, I took the bike off this thing, flipped the bike, and um, I hit my head so hard that my helmet cracked in two. And um, I fell off the side, and my head, I had a, I'll see if I can find the photos we'll and I'll insert them. I had an egg in the middle of my head. I was okay, and I wasn't concussed or anything, I went to hospital, I just looked a mess, like this massive golf ball in the front of my head. But then the next day I woke up and my whole face had swollen out and I had these massive black eyes that were just almost like so swollen and red. They took, took weeks and weeks to go down, but because of that, the redness actually never left. And I've always had like kind of like deep set dark eyes anyway, but they were just, the redness never left, like the swelling never left like right underneath it. Mm. So, so we're going to try this, aren't we? Yeah. See if this helps. Let's see. Oh, I'm excited. Hey! Hi! <laughs> As you guys know, I always say that I get my skincare, my like supercharged kind of. It's, it's like, med am I right to say it's medigrade? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a, our main up word for it. Yeah, medical yeah. Medical grade. Yeah, medical grade skincare from Emirate Latelier Aesthetics. I talk about Emma all the time. <laughs> so this, this is a few new bits that I'm picking up while I'm here. Um, I've talked about them all so many times. And as I always say, with this, these are the products that work for my skin. And like I always say, you should definitely come and see Emma and have a full consultation. So you can just definitely check what kind of skin type you have, how you react to spots and blemishes and, and you know, the products that you need to be prescribed. So this is just for me. Illumini for my under eye. Bright and Clear Solution is the most incredible exfoliating toner. It's not technically a toner, but similar. Um, I've been using the Zedo Retinol and I'm gonna go up this time to the one. So this is exciting. I'm gonna give these a try as well, these oil control pads from Zedo. These again are very much a exfoliating kind of acid exfoliator. And then the Recovery Balm is like my, one of my favorite moisturizers just for my quite sensitive skin, but it just works wonders for me. So I'm gonna be taking these home. Like I said, um, I get all of these from Emma. So this is my little goodie bag to take home. I was gonna quickly put a glow peel across my chin where I have some blemishes that have not gone. I'm really excited to see this. How long will it take until the effects kind of kick in? Yeah, immediate effect, but then about two weeks before it sort of uh, all melts together. Oh, yeah. it, um, it'll look, you know, you, you see the, what it's gonna look like tonight, but uh, <gasps> clearly you're gonna have some needle marks and stuff which make it a little less uh, I'm a perfect candidate Attractive. too. It's a really good. Yeah, I know, they're very deep set, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it was a slight more, so you get a bit more. <laughs> or is that okay? You yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> good. So this side's a little bit worse than this side, but there's not much in it, frankly. Yeah, I think because the, because the defect is so close to the. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to go in with a, a sharp technique and just. Uh, okay, so. Scratch coming now. Needles, can't you? 
Yeah, I know. I know we've got a really high pain threshold, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, yeah! yeah isn't it? Wow, you can't see the kind of purple undertone the same. So wow. you, you basically underfill it slightly because it's going to swell a little bit. And then you can always add if, uh, if, it's, uh, if it needs a little touch up. But wow. generally speaking. Treatment finished, how was that? Fine, absolute breeze. Didn't feel the thing. Well, I mean, you had numbing cream on 15 minutes, so I'm not, not surprised. Well, yeah, it looks that's, great. That's good. Like, as soon as the needle marks are gone, you can see it. As I say, there are a couple, wow. of, ways of, a couple of ways of doing this. You can do it with a cannula or you can do it with a needle. And the reason I use the needle is because of just where it was. And your chance, your chance of getting a good result that way much better. So. Yeah. yeah. You Fantastic. Can it, just trim it I was out thinking it's growing. It just helps with any bruising. Good morning guys. Thursday morning and a very busy day ahead. Actually, I've had to kind of start the day, hit the ground running today, to be honest, after a really hideous sleep. We're currently watching Snowpiercer. Probably by the time you've seen this, we'll have gotten to the end of it. And I'm absolutely addicted to it. I'm hooked. I'm so invested in every single moment. And so I'm going to bed and having the strangest like night terrors and nightmares. I mean, the show isn't even that scary. It's just very... <laughs> There's just a lot of ups and downs. Well, I mean, you know, it is, it's dramatic and there's some like scarier bits, but anyway, it's really obviously affecting my imagination. So I've had an awful sleep, but I'm excited for today. I have a few things. I have an interview for a magazine article. That's super exciting. And you shoot a reel for Dior this morning with their brand new lipsticks. They're like smudge proof. Lots of different colours, so I'm going to be playing around with those in a minute. And I've got a call later for a big project I'm working on. And then I've got an event later. Let me show you my outfit for the day, because I feel like this is my kind of outfit to perfection. This is my boss woman outfit today. I feel so amazing in this. I mean, I've, I've worn this sort of outfit so many times, but I've just got my um, white shirt on, little Dior bralette underneath with the straps, beautiful linen skirt, Dior belt around the waist, Dior stilettos, just, in, just a lovely nude stiletto and um, lots of beautiful bits of jewellery that I've picked up over the years, my Dior watch and obviously my hair is brand new and fresh and it feels so, it feels really really different having all this blonde back, it feels really bright again, I feel like a lot of the blonde I'd sort of lost and Briny has put through, like blonde right through these front bits and Larry's cut them back into a bit of a fringe again. So I am actually loving it, it feels lovely and bright. My skin at the moment as well is just looking so great. I only had my glow peel done by Emma over my chin just to try and like shave off and exfoliate that little bit of skin there. But the rest of my skin right now I'm just so happy with it, I'm just really looking after it and just adding loads of beautiful products and things. So. Yeah, let's get going. In fact, let me show you these lippies before I get going. I always push my chair out of the way when I do my reels so it's not in the, in the way of me. I hate that light always being in the mirror, it really annoys me. But equally it works well to give me some light. So these are the Rouge Dior Forever liquids in a number of different shades here. And this gorgeous, iconic Dior bottles. Yeah, but the idea with these is that they're transfer proof. Like super long lasting, 24 hour wear, but they are, yeah, transfer proof. I feel a lot of brands right now are bringing out this very non-transfer matte lip right now. Oh, stunning. Is that 999? It is. 999. Dior Signature Red. Oh, that's pretty. 588. That's lovely. I mean, honestly, the Dior lipsticks are some of the best on the market. So I'm gonna, do you know, I'm just gonna go for my usual 100. It'll be super similar to my, where are you? Clear out this drawer. It has got silly now. Put my favourite, favourite lipsticks go in this drawer right in front of me. Here it is, 100. So that's the 100 in the Rouge Dior matte that I promoted a couple of months ago. But yeah, it's in here. It's one of my favourite nudes. It's just so easy and creamy to wear. This is a brand new one again in 100. So it's kind of like depends what formulation you'd like. So I'll show you that in a minute when I actually put it on. But I need to do my actual face first before I finish off with my lip. Finished up my reel. I decided to film a kind of five steps to a really minimal but effective makeup look. So I did serums, concealer, mascara, bronze, and the bold red lips. This is a 999 and it is stunning. 
no transfer it doesn't feel dry either i mean it's obviously got a dryness to it because it is a matte but nowhere near as dry as some of the lipsticks that i've tried it feels really comfortable really light and the pigmentation is stunning in the shape of the wand you can really kind of get the line beautiful so i love this look i've not even done my brows i've literally put on concealer a bit of bronzer wiped a little bit of bronze through my eyes put on mascara and put on a lip like literally i love it so minimal and chic it's hours later it's been a very productive day alex has even been out to get his um new invisalign and come back been on calls and all sorts and now we're having a really fantastic meal i've just been listening along to an event with kga who look after so many incredible fragrance brands that you'll know of like Kenzo, Coach, Van Cleef and Arpels, Cartier, etc. And we've been doing like a little smell along session. And as part of that, they've sent us a beautiful dining experience from Riding House Cafe. All the trimmings. And they've even sent us play settings and a runner and candles. And Alex has been so cute and laid this all out for us. And he's made the dinner. Bo is playing with the squeaky toy down there, sorry. Everyone else's dogs are gonna be going crazy right now. Bo, just one set down and can you start two minutes without the ball? So we've got like, we've got an artichoke dip with flatbread, portobello mushroom wellington with potatoes. Hello, okay, one second and I feel awful. And then isn't there like a little dessert after as well? Chocolate blocks. Chocolate blocks. How lovely though. So we're gonna enjoy this. And then we need to finish Snow Pierce Bay. How many episodes have we got there? I reckon, like we've got one. I reckon we've got one or two at most. Last night was frantic. Absolutely crazy what happened last night. Here you go, darling, you go get it. Oh, honestly, I had I had so many night terrors. I've not even told you about them. I'll tell you about them now when I sit down, but so many night terrors. So I'm, I'm looking forward to watching that earlier tonight so that I don't think about it before I go to bed. Dinner was delicious. We've only eaten half our chocolate blocks, but this was oh, divine. But now, smell that, smell good. Wow, that smells good. Something I just got good. a delivery from Dior. Surprise delivery. What is in there? Wow, what is this? Oh my goodness me, what is this? Okay, can we do it the other way around so I can touch it, please? No, I'm touching Can you hold it. the camera? Can you hold the camera, please? <laughs> you ready? Well, tell him. Oh my gosh, what is this? I've never seen this before. Little zips, CD zips. It's like a big pouch. This would make such a beautiful makeup bag. I've been waiting for Dior to do like a little makeup pouch like this for so long. And this is it. Thank you so much Dior, this is so beautiful. Look how pretty Bubble, look how pretty this is. That is amazing. Good morning, little one. It's just me and thee today, isn't it? Alex has left the building. He's gone into London to get some new tattoos done. So today it is just me, little Bo. I wanna get a workout in, cause I've just dropped Alex off at the station and it's pushed my morning back a little bit, but I wanna get a workout in. And also, it's really strange to see myself with quite straight hair like this, quite like it. My friend Kyle just said in a comment that it's a bit Rachel Green hair and I really love that. Yeah, so I also seem to tidy up the house a little bit and just get a few things in order. Um, I've just had a lovely delivery. This wine parcel just arrived for a brand called The Vices in York. I'm just about to throw it away, but everything came so beautifully packaged in these really cool flexi wine holder things. And they sent me, perfect timing for the weekend, they've very kindly sent me a lovely bottle of white Lugana Reserva 2016. I mean, it looks like a wonderful bottle. And then also a Brut Rosé Jacarando. They've also sent me this balsamic vinegar as well. I mean, I don't know if this is meant to be part of the drinks or if this is just an extra condiment but it looks like the most beautiful balsamic vinegar um, packaging I've ever seen. Thank you very much to the vices that is extremely nice and very unexpected um, so that'll be wonderful for this weekend. He was up though last night about three times in the night which is so not like him just crying 1 30 3 30 5 36 so I'm shattered today but I'm gonna get my workout in I'm gonna do a spin 
In fact, what I might do first, I'm gonna do, I might do my abs, 10 minute abs, 10 minute arms, and then do a spin, because sometimes after I've done my spin, I'm like so knackered, and I'm like, I've done it now, I don't need to do any more things, so that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm not showing you, I've not shown you. I have one thing to show you, my outdoor furniture. So this is what we got. This is my little outdoor furniture set. So this is from Gardenesque. It's exactly what I wanted. I scoured the web for the perfect outdoor seating set. And um, this is exactly what I wanted. To be honest, I don't really need the, ta the table. I don't really need the table because the idea is that this is gonna go around a new fire pit that I'm building. But so I don't necessarily need this, but I'm sure it will come in handy for when we have friends over. It could even just be kind of to the side, maybe for to put drinks on. But I am thrilled. I think it's such a beautiful design with this wood. Um, I know that for a lot of people, rattan is so, so popular. And I, that's how I felt last year. And I got the beautiful big rattan table. Um, but I've kind of gone more towards the kind of wood feel this year. I don't know why. I just, um, I didn't really want a rattan set. So this is a eucalyptus wood, um, which is really hard wearing to leave outside, but the likelihood is that during the winter months we'll either cover it or we'll put it in the garage. This, is, this isn't where it's gonna be sat, by the way, but we've left it here for now. Yeah, see, it's just like a two, three-seater, little three-seater, I suppose, sofa, and then two seats and a table. But it's just really lovely, really lovely quality wood, and it looks, doesn't it look great, babe? <laughs> Your little ears back, darling. Sort yourself out. Yeah, so I'm thrilled with this. So it's from Gardenesque. I'll leave a link down below in case you're looking for one, but it was um, it was also really reasonable and they had loads in stock. You two are like me and you've been looking for garden furniture and you find the majority of things now are either out of stock or only back in stock in like August. This is a good one to have a look at. Yeah, they literally delivered within a week of me buying it. And I also haven't yet shown you my Chinese pots. So seeing as I'm here and I'm showing you some garden things, let me open the garage and show you my Chinese wine urns because they're pretty special. So these are antique Chinese wine urns. So these used to hold wine in China. They are absolutely incredible. These are even more amazing than I thought they would be. I got them from a beautiful little antiques shop online. I'll leave the link on, I'll leave their name on the screen. We had a gorgeous little antiques place and they had these two. They are amazing. They're so big and wide. This beautiful tealy light green finish. I'm just in love with them. Like honestly, when I bought them, I thought they were gonna be big and beautiful, but I didn't expect them to be this incredible. So I am thrilled. I'm absolutely in love with them. I'm thinking I'm gonna put I'm gonna maybe put either tall boxes balls in these or two big olive trees in them. This garage is a mess. I've got pots, I've got festoon lights everywhere. This I need to, I need to bring this inside the house actually. So I'm gonna take this. Okay, I finished up my workout, 30 minute Peloton, 10 minute abs, 10 minute arms, so pretty tired now. Um, I made an avocado smoothie before I went in and then left half so I'm having half again now. It's not the best I've made. I don't have any banana so it's not got that like banana-y base to it. It's just avocado, oats, water, protein shake pretty much. So it's not the tastiest so I was just going to put a little bit of just a little touch of honey in it. Um, I got a few more of these delicious, I don't know if you've ever seen this brand, it's called Kind To Be, um, and they do loads of different types of, of honeys, I'll put you there, different types of honeys, and this one actually has like a piece of honeycomb in it, so good. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of, I just wanna drizzle like a little bit of honey, just to give it just a little bit of flavor. But I must admit, since I last, um, since I last spoke to you guys, I've really, I've really gone hard on a new, like, healthy routine. I'm feeling really, really good for it. I'm toning up the way I wanted to. I feel healthier in myself as well. Like, I've, I've cut out a few things that I was really overindulging on. Like, the amount of bread that I was eating recently was getting a little bit silly but I just love bread. So I've kind of cut back on breads and cut back on sugars. Cause again, I'm a dessert fiend. So I'd have like dessert after every meal and it's just not 
sustainable if you want to keep a really healthy body. Just unfortunately, cake every night doesn't allow you to have a very, very healthy body. Unless you have it in extreme balance, but I didn't. Like even things like I've cut down on my coffees to one coffee a day so that I'm drinking less milk. The oat milk that I was drinking is so thick and probably full of so many, there's so many calories and whilst it's so delicious, it was, yeah, I could tell that it was just causing me extra bloating that I didn't want. So yes, yeah, so I'm feeling really, really good at the moment. Definitely feeling like I've got a better outlook. Alex as well has been also, um, like we've both been cutting back on alcohol, we're barely drinking at all right now. We've both been eating so well, really like spurring each other on, motivating each other to like work out every day. Alex has started running. So yeah, we're feeling really, really good. Right, next up on the agenda for today is I'm gonna go get a shower. And then I need to put on some makeup, some Code 8 makeup for my next project with Code 8. I need to take some stories for Vestier, for the project that we work on. By the way, there's loads right now on my Vestier profile. Loads. Um, all of my shoes that I showed you that I, that I kind of went through all my shoes and brought out the ones that I didn't wear as much. They are now all on Vestier if you do want to get yourself. I'm a size 4 by the way. So they're all on there. And loads of sunglasses. I went through my entire sunglasses collection. I've told you this. Anyway, they're all on there. But you can't buy them through Vestier because of Brexit shipping laws. It's a little bit backwards, it's a real shame the Vestia can no longer sell sunglasses, but they're all on there anyway, you just can't purchase them. So if you see any of the sunglasses that you like, just DM me on Instagram, you can sort it out that way. I just can't, unfortunately, not able to sell them through Vestia until this shipping law is sorted out, it's quite strange really. So yeah, go and have a look at my Vestia profile, I'm literally just in the throw. If you go on the app, by the way, on the Vestia app, a lot of people message me like, I can't find you. When you go onto Vestia and you search, there's a tab at the top that says items, search by items or products or by members, you've got to put members and then put in in the throw and then you'll find me. That's how you find me guys. I have also been sent the loveliest bundle of goodies from Aromatherapy Associates. So, what do I want to use today? First of all, I need to put this in my car. This is a tea tree eucalyptus no rinse hand cleanser. I love having one of, one of these in the car for when, um, obviously, in and out of the, sh the supermarket, and you want to wash your hands or whatever. So that's super nice. They sent so much here though. Muscle gel. I bet that is incredible. Um, oh, a body brush. Oh, I might do a bit of body brushing actually. Deep relaxed sleep mist. I've used these so, so many times. They smell unbelievable. Um, they're, they, they're so unique in the texture. It's like an oil. And then when you start to rub it in, it kind of becomes a bit creamier, like a cleanser. Super lovely. And then they've also sent me a load of these, sent me three of the bath and shower oils. De-stress, I'm guessing that's quite lavendery. Revive, bath and shower oil, and then the deep relax. In honesty, I like to keep these for the bath. I love these from the bath. I've mentioned them before. They are wonderful. So I think today for the shower, I'm going to use this. And in fact, I really want to see, that is a lovely body brush. At the moment with this new routine, I'm wanting to get back into body brushing my legs and putting gels on, on my thighs. So this is actually perfect timing. Right, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this with me to the shower. I'm actually ready for the day. God, it's quite late in the day now, but I've just been filming this makeup look with the um, Code 8 Radiate Balm. Sorry, oh my gosh, it's such a mess behind me. I've just stripped the bedding, I'm washing all the bedding. I felt like it was uh, bedding wash day. Um, yeah, so I've got the beautiful Radiate Balm on. Um, it's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous product. And um, lots of lipstick. So I'm just feeling so much more like bright and fresh now. Some lovely weather outside. I'm gonna take Bo for a little walk, I think. Let him blow off a little bit of steam. <laughs> and yeah, just enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> 